We felt it was important to partner with NRE after meeting with Dr. Daryl Jones at a Farm Bureau conference down in Jackson, Mississippi. He talked about bringing a lot of things to the landowners that we were interested in, in trying to expand their farm base, um, you know, bring family members back home, incorporate wildlife and conservation into their activities, and we thought it was a great message. We started this tree farm back in 1985 as a diversification of our grain farm. Uh, we raised corn, soybeans, hogs, and cattle back then, and we settled on Christmas trees. When we diversify, we spread our risks. If we have a crop failure, then uh, the Christmas trees is still there and hopefully won't have a failure in everything in the same year. In Indiana, the landscape for farmers is really changing. There's an interest in individuals in, in connecting with the farmers that produce the, the food they eat or the products they have. People are trying to get more connected to the land and do more local business. And so then farmers have had an opportunity to really expand who their customer base is. They've had a lot more people come to them and want access to property. So many people are removed from the land anymore. You know, they, they live in the cities. They don't have access to property. And so this is a great opportunity for people to be able to offer their property up for other people to use and at the same time make some, make some money doing it. And once the first person had success doing it and the stories start getting out, everybody else wants to try something. And now you see a lot more farmers trying to expand their enterprises on their property. I got a birthday present to go zip lining down in uh, Puerto Rico and I was no more than 12 feet off the ground on any zip line at any given time but I could see with the kind of property we have here this would be something that would be really neat to try. We purchased the property 85 acres and basically we just spent two years cleaning it up getting really all the garbage off of it and making the land suitable and putting in trails. In the early 07 I built what's called a low ropes course where we bring in team building and do team building events. And then in the latter part of that year of 08, I built the zip line adventure. Next, I'm going to get you to go up and out of an airplane. Uh, my family has quite a bit of acreage in the area. And I'm always looking to try to utilize the property for something other than, um, you know, just letting it sit there, looking for other enterprises, trying to do something that's unique um, that uh, could potentially lead into a business venture. Uh, being young, I'm always looking for uh, possibilities to uh, do things that other people haven't and uh, was interested to hear what we could do and use the resources that we have. As an extension wildlife specialist, a, a big part of my job is working with private landowners. Um, and there's a lot of private landowners in Indiana. And so when I heard about this program, I thought this might be a new way to work with those uh, audiences in a different way and attract some people that maybe uh, hadn't given wildlife management uh, consideration. I just take care of it. I keep it in pristine condition. I plant a lot of trees. I did some warm season grasses because I want to bring back quail and dove to the area because they're basically non-existent because of what's going on in this area. So I've, I have several acres of property just, don't, just for dove and quail and that type of things. The turkey are plentiful on here. I put plots of foods out for them to eat specifically for the turkey and they come and eat at it. Deer the same thing. I plant things. I have certain places where it's just wild things that just the deer and the turkey and all those will eat. Even with my zip lining you would think, oh I'm driving everything out of here. I see just as much wildlife as I've ever seen, even with the zip lines in. I think just from a financial aspect, you talk about diversification because the future is unknown. Uh, from a wildlife standpoint, we talk about diversifying habitats. And so I think this is along those same lines where the future is unpredictable. So the more you diversify, the more you'll be able to uh, adapt to, to, to the changing environment, both economically and environmentally. They need to bring in that revenue figure out different revenue streams and what I've done here is just giving people an option where you can make other revenue but you can still enjoy the tranquility and the peace and the wildlife. What the Natural Resources Enterprises does is it gives you alternatives on how can I make my property still make me some income but protect us in the future.